Hello everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It is Kayla's Vanity and today I'm here with yet another video. Um, for the past two weeks has been kind of hard for me so I didn't do like a voiceover or anything but I still did put up some content. Um, but yeah, now I'm back in the game. I'm back. It's a new year and I'm ready to go. Uh, this piece was really kind of a reset for me i have been trying to work on doing better backgrounds and everything like that for my like artwork i've been trying to like experiment with more elaborate backgrounds or accessories and kind of honing in on what i have just making art that i'm actually gonna like the end result of because lately I've been kind of feeling weird about my art like just every time I make something I'm not satisfied with the result and I'm sure every artist goes through this but this time I actually like took the time and I accomplished one of my goals which was to try and make a more elaborate background and this one actually I actually wanted to paint this one like I've obviously sketched a bunch and whatnot but I actually wanted to paint this one so I go ahead I went ahead and did it um and I really ended up liking it actually um it, it was one of those days well actually this took two recording sessions to complete um the first day I completed the entire background and then the second day I completed the actual portrait um portion of it um so yeah you see me here and this time i just kind of let the art i let the piece i let my paintbrush kind of just take me where it wanted to go instead of stressing out so bad about it um and i was just really working on applying less pressure to myself because at the end of the day I can just turn the page and make something else it doesn't have to be a masterpiece every time i put my pencil on a page you know and i think a lot of people also trip up with that and um get disappointed in themselves but actually i actually really like this one and i'm glad that i like it and enjoyed the process um as well because obviously i mean i love painting so but when you add that pressure it kind of like can hinder that at times so I, I was really able to enjoy the piece and the process of this one so yeah I'm really thankful for that and yeah so basically let's talk about what's what you're seeing right now so right now you should see uh, I'm painting in a bookshelf so I really wanted to paint a girl in a library so that's what I did and so this bookshelf that she's reaching for right now and that she's standing closest to i'm going to well my vision was to try to render in this um bookshelf as much as i could and like paint it more detailed and then the bookshelf that's behind her further in the distance i tried to make the colors more muted and make the shapes less defined in order to create like the illusion that it's in the background um and try to show to the to the eye that that bookshelf is in the background so yeah so right now i'm starting with the background so i created a deeper color than the brown that I put on the inside of the bookshelf next to her. And it has a little bit more of gray in it as well. Um, so I hope that that displays kind of what I wanted it to. Um, it, it's what I was hoping for. Obviously it's not perfect, but it's the first time I've ever tried something like that. And I'm, pr I'm pretty um, satisfied with it, honestly. Um, obviously there's always room for improvement, but you know what I'm saying. I'm proud that I accomplished kind of what I it's not often that your vision matches what you actually get onto the page um yeah so I got there
so now as you can see i'm starting to paint in some of the actual books on the shelves and throughout most of this um piece i used acrylic paints because i bought like a billion acrylic paints the other day when i like last week when i went to joann's they're all from a brand called top notch i'll try to find a link but i haven't seen them on the internet i just saw them at the store and i was like oh these are cheap so let's just buy every color um because that's how my brain works and i needed to restock on some acrylic anyways because i went there for white acrylic paint because i was actually pretty much out and then i was like oh these are 79 cents i should buy every single color that they have and then i did that so yeah um so i was able to get a lot of like colors that i wouldn't have like I, I would never be able to mix this color i mean probably would but like you know what i mean like this is kind of whatever in it and it I think it will really help me to expand because, you know, color mixing, it's alright, I have to do it, but it's not my favorite thing to do, you know, I'd rather get to painting, so this kind of really helped, and this was a color out of the tube as well, or out of the bottle rather, um, so as you can see, like I was saying, just like a muted, darker version of the more prominent bookshelf is what i put on the background bookshelf and i also didn't put any of that like kind of yellowy ochre color on the back bookshelves just to um just push it farther in the background like i was tr kind of trying to figure out how i could do that um so yeah here i'm painting the next book i don't think i include all of the footage of me painting all the books because it's just kind of redundant like i'm painting straight lines whatever painting you know the, the sketch lines like come on now and then mixing a darker color and a more muted color to go in the background okay so now you can see i have the background done and this is a different day actually so this is i think one or two days later like i think it started on tuesday and then finished up on thursday um i'm starting in with her skin i didn't i, I didn't really want to rush myself you know um i tend to try and film something in all one day and especially something you know more elaborate and has more of a background like this than my usual pieces i really didn't want to rush myself i really didn't want to like kind of burn myself out i did and also daylight was wasting um because it gets dark at like five o'clock so you know i wanted to have better lighting as well and i wanted to also be able to come back to this piece because i did really i this is like the first time that i painted a background that is more elaborate and that i really like so i really didn't want to ruin it and so i was trying i thought okay i'll come back to this in a day when i or when i have time um and i'll see it with fresh eyes and see what i need to put on this page to make it better to complement what i've already put down because a lot of times we'll go in and we'll have a vision and you're like okay i want her to be this skin tone with this hair and this background and this outfit blah blah blah, blah. but sometimes those elements don't go together as well as we think in our heads and so it's best and then we go in and we paint with like tunnel vision almost and then it's like oh wait these elements don't actually go as well together as i thought they did uh, so then it's like you know whatever so 
I wanted to come back to this with fresh eyes and look at it again and see what I could do to improve on my vision and improve on, you know, what was already on the page. So I started with her skin. Um, I knew I wanted to, her to be lighter complected because I, I just didn't want her to, um, I wanted there to be more contrast between her and the background. So I did make her a little bit um lighter skin than i had originally planned um in my head like i said my original vision was a darker skinned woman but then i got to here and i was like mm, actually she might look pretty if i did this and then she she would still be you know whatever and then it would create more contrast throughout the piece because i don't freaking care what skin tone these girls are like whatever and um so then i started painting her skin tone and as you can see i don't know first layer i didn't really like the actual tone of her skin like it was just kind of too red because at this point in time in my head i had decided on her hair color and i thought that i didn't want to have too much red in the skin because i thought that it wouldn't complement it correctly um so yeah so here you can see i'm doing some shading um uh, a lot of parts i kind of cut out because i just didn't like nobody wants to see like the back of my head like in front of the camera so and i at this point i was kind of starting to like it and like the piece in general and i really didn't want to mess it up so i was trying really hard um, so I got as much footage as I could and whatnot. Um, so here I am putting some shading on her nose. As you can see, I have the sketch on my phone, a picture of the sketch on my phone, on the side here to help me out in like, cause you know, when you lay down base colors, I kind of try to paint around the sketch lines a bit. Um, but also you don't want blank spaces when you go to fill in other things. So I always like to take a picture of my sketch before I potential, potentially ruin it, but I like to take a picture of my sketch in order for me to be able to see, you know, how, like, I tried to draw this, I drew this hand, but obviously I had to paint over my sketch lines with the base skin tone, but now I'm able to look back at my um, picture of my sketch as a reference and paint in those lines without you know, having to do a bunch of guesswork and potentially, you know, having a finger in the wrong spot or something like that. So, yeah, that's how that helps me. And it also helps me to, you know, figure out how to block in my shapes on top of whatever I've already painted. Um, so now I've decided that I want her to be a redhead. I tried to mix a color, really didn't like it. Um, then... Um, I went over it with a Posca pen. Um, I don't know what the color is. Scarlet, I guess. Um, which looks more like a red hair person to me. Um, and more the color that I was going for because I am going to put some, you know, darker bits in her hair to make it look more... I don't know. More dimensional instead of just like flat red orange hair so yeah i ended up doing two coats of the posca pen and then going in with some i think i went in with the brown posca pen and then i went in with a lighter orange posca pen and you'll see that later um now i'm gonna paint in her eyes i made them brown like kind of hazelish like brown with a little bit of green in them uh so yeah and i think that was a good choice i don't know whatever um i try to i've been also trying to improve on my pieces by jumping around through the uh, different elements of the piece so i can see earlier on how they contrast with each other um so how i jump from the skin to the hair to the eyes back to the hair um, you know, it's not perfect. I can jump around more. But 
usually, like I said, I have that tunnel vision where I just go in one element at a time, perfect that element, and then go to something else. And then I look back and I'm like, oh, those elements don't really go together. Oops. Um, so if when you jump around, you can kind of try and gauge like, okay, if I put this here and I put this here, I'm going to need more contrast on this element and blah, 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 blah. So here I am. I ended up, as you saw, I put another layer of that scarlet colored Posca on her hair. And then I ended up using a brown Posca to do some low lights and this orange Posca to do some highlights to try and create more dimension within the hair and try to create more interest and in for the eye to draw more towards her and her hair instead of the bookshelf because obviously you know less color and you know whatever the less detail and the less color kind of pushes things back and right now the bookshelf is what has you know the most detail so now i'm working on her and building her up so that she can draw the eye and she can have the interest of the piece which i'm gonna work on that more and do more things to her obviously to in order for her to be drawn even more to the front and even more to the viewer's eye so yeah so i go in here orange pasca fix it up then i start on her clothing and i started off with this like teal almost like yeah i think like turk yeah i think teal is the right color i don't know like a green blue as the base coat of her shirt and then i was like Ugh, i don't like that and then i went in with like more of a true blue color and i ended up painting over that um because it obviously it needed a second coat anyway so yeah who like whatever um, so I ended up painting over that for her shirt and then I ended up using a Posca marker I believe for the shadows on her shirt which will be you know under her breasts on her back arm you know kind of behind this arm that's in the front here and then I also use um, a Posca pen for the actual collar of the shirt and you can you'll see me go well I don't know if you will see I don't know if I cut it out or not but you might see me go back and forth with a couple of button colors I think I put them blue at first and then I made them black and then I made them white I don't know I was just kind of trying to wing it <laughs> so yeah I put the blue on as the light blue as the collar and then the darker blue as you know the shadows like I said and I also thought that it would be best if I made the actual glasses that she was wearing light blue and you know I try not to flip the page around too much with footage that I know that is important like her glasses are an important part of the piece I want that to be in the video but girl if you want this circle to be a circle I'm gonna have to flip the page I, I don't know what you want me to do I don't know what you want me to say that's just it that's just I, I, I don't <laughs> I like I don't I'm not trying to ruin the piece you know so you know a lot of things like if they're less important I you know less important but still crucial such as like all of the line detail that i put like under her jaw or you know her collarbone and whatnot like that's not important to the overall piece but it is crucial for it to look good if you are catching my drift I hope that you are like I want like that's crucial so it looks like her head is turned blah 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 but it's not like a key element that I you know I can't wait to see her draw those darn collarbones like it's not it's not like that so yeah here you go back to what I, back to the piece um I ended up taking a darker brown paint and 
actually one that I used for some of the books over there and putting some even darker roots in her hair and then I go in with my uh I don't know if this is really considered a brush pen I have one with a soft tip and one with a harder tip and they're both from Tombow I'll, I'll obviously link them whatever but um I don't know if they're considered brush pens or not but I'm doing the line art <laughs> that's all I wanted to say so I did the line art on the bookshelf, I did the line art on her, I did not do line art on the background bookshelf um, on purpose in order to do, try and make it more in the background, like I was saying. At this point, I was so freaking nervous. Line art is so nerve wracking. It's so crucial and important. It has both of the importancies that uh, it's so nerve wracking. Because if you mess up, it's just everything is over and it's all just gone to crap. So <laughs> I was trying really, really hard. You know, I kept like taking breaks, wiggling my hands, you know, making sure I'm looking at this correctly, you know, looking at my reference sketch and everything, like trying to, you know, make sure everything was correct. Um, going around those circles was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I really wanted to get her eyelashes the exact same way that I did in the sketch because I really liked them. <sighs> but I got through it. I got through it. A lot of deep breaths and a lot of hand wiggles and I got through it and now I'm going in with my white gel pen I also just got this this white gel pen is is good man this, that, that jelly roll what the heck we all use no why are we doing that this is so good it's so good like look at this like what are you saying what are you what are you saying to me right now so anyways I ended up doing her highlights on her eyes her glasses her i gave her a little bit of lip gloss you know and i also outlined her to further pop her out from the background which i think was a really good decision and also did some glares on her glasses and everything to make it look more realistic and yeah that's pretty much that also i wanted to mention yeah that little piece to the left and above her above her left eyebrow well her right but our left never filled that in with line art i checked later never did it i don't know why i didn't do that just didn't i don't i guess i didn't notice i, I listen i think this piece still looks good i'm really proud of it and i want to thank you guys all for watching and tuning in with me this week thank you so much i'll see you next friday bye You should also check out my shop. I'm gonna update it soon, but there's still some stuff there. Yeah.